I absolutely know a good man. His name is Ash and I met him shortly after going through a couple of different abusive relationships and after going through a double mastectomy. I am the author and director of a project called Beauty After Breast Cancer and Ash, who is now my husband, was integral in making that project happen because 29 and single with a double mastectomy makes for about the world's most awkward dating conversation. It's kind of like, hi, I'm Caitlin. So nice to meet you. Hope you're not a boob guy. When I met Ash and had this really challenging discussion of, oh, by the way, just went through this surgery, he instantly figured out how insecure I was about this. And the very first time that we were together in any kind of intimate way, the first thing he did was show attention to my scars in a very gentle and a very loving way with no judgment whatsoever. And the no judgment piece, that was a really big difference for me from anything that I had experienced in relationships prior to that. My time with Ash has been absolutely colored by his respect, his humor, and his total willingness to let me heal, not by telling me what he thinks I need, but by giving me what I need and checking in on a really regular basis to make sure that that has been happening. When I first set off to really get back in touch with myself after my breast cancer journey, he sent me up to my closet and said, all right, no, no, no. I'm gonna pick out clothes for you. You're gonna put these on. I'm gonna take your picture. And I came back and he had all the wardrobe figured out and he would take these pictures with the, the shirt kind of sexy unbuttoned over my reconstructed boobs. And he would show me these amazing pictures he had taken of me. And he let me see myself through his eyes. And every single time, I look at myself through his eyes. I see someone beautiful. I see someone who deserves the kind of love that I have found from this man. And in 13 years now of marriage, I can't think of a single instance in which I have ever been treated with anything but respect. Even if my request is something silly, like the coffee tastes better when you make it, or this strange little thing here is what makes me feel loved today. There is no judgment. There is only love, respect, solid communication, and the amazing humor and passion from someone that for many years, I guess I had only hoped that I could deserve.